history of Ireland is in its music and its beer. The history of Irish music is as rich and magical as the island itself. Join me as we travel across Ireland and even down to the local pub to discover what makes Irish music so fascinating. This is Journey into Irish Music. Ah, Ireland. A place where the landscape is as varied and magical as its music. From rolling fields, steep cliffs, medieval castles, to big cities, small villages, and everything in between. It's one of my favorite places. I'm Craig, and I want to take you on a journey with me to discover the history of Irish music and the people that play it. In this web series, I'll be meeting musicians from all over to find out why they play Irish music. And just maybe, I can get them to play it too. I've been playing it for some time now, but I still feel like I'm at the beginning of my journey. I was born in a small steel town, about 40 miles or so outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. When there was nothing on TV, we'd listen to records, folk music, like Peter, Paul, and Mary, and Cat Stevens. But on car trips, we'd listen to the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makem. I've been a heavy metal bassist, a stand-up comedian, a sideshow strongman. Really, any reason to get on stage. But as I got older, I wanted to be more in touch with my Irish roots. So I started researching my ancestors, and I taught myself how to play the Irish bazooki. The Irish bazooki is adapted from the Greek bazooki, an old instrument with three sets of two strings for a total of six strings. Some enterprising Greek wanted to expand the sound, and he added another set of strings for a total of eight. In the 1960s, Johnny Moynihan started playing it with his Irish folk group, Sweeney's Men, and the Irish bazooki was born. The shape of the instrument has also evolved from the round or bowl-backed instrument to the flat back instruments you see today. It's most commonly tuned G-D-A-D, -D, a bit of an extension on the Greek version. You can also find them tuned to A-D-A-D, -D, and some, like me, prefer octave mandolin tuning, G-D-A-E. There's no right way to play the Irish bazooki, but typically in Irish sessions, the bazooki player will act as accompaniment to the melody played by the fiddle or Irish flute. Though its roots are clearly Greek, the Irish bazooki has become almost as ubiquitous in Irish music as the tin whistle and I think we're all the better for it. There's an old Irish tune called The Wild Rover. It's about the end of a wild journey. It's one of the first Irish tunes a lot of people encounter, ironically, starting them off as we are on a journey into Irish music. And it goes, no, nay, never, no, nay, never, no more. Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more. I took from my pocket, bright. And that landlady's eyes opened wide with delight. She said, I have a whiskey and wine's out of the 